All right, this tale of the tape is brought to you by Modelo Group for those with a fighting spirit. Tuivasa is still just 26. Ivanov is 32. Tuivasa, the taller man by three inches. And notice he came in well below the 266 pound limit. 259 for Tuivasa, who will have a two inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions to get the main card started. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the United Center in Chicago, Illinois, for UFC 238, Cejudo versus Morais, presented by Modelo, group for those with a fighting spirit. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. 17 wins, two losses, one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 251 pounds. Fighting out of Sofia, Bulgaria, Blagoj Bulga Ivanov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a street fighter, holding a professional record, 10 wins, one loss. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 259 pounds, fighting out of Western Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Ty Bam Bam to Ibarra the action begins. Our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata charged with this assignment here. Brittany Palmer, thank you second. very much. Ready to go with the heavyweights to kick off this most anticipated main card tonight. All right, you ready, sir? All right, you ready? Tied to Ivasa. Back for more against Bwagoy Ivanov. The fight clock brought to you by Modelo. Brewed for those with a fighting spirit. Ivanov out of the southpaw stands in red to Ivasa. The Orthodox fighter is in black. I was sparring with Bagoy the other day, and, and his cardio felt better. He looks a little smaller. I mean, he seemed ready to go, but he's got his hands full with Tuivasa, who, as we said on the walkout, is just a phenomenal boxer. And also a very good athlete. We saw what he did to Rashad Coulter in 2017. Knocked him down with a leg kick, followed up with a flying knee. You don't see a lot of those in the heavyweight division. Tui Vasa, very aggressive. Looking to find openings. That's a really good punch for Bagoy. Because he's a southpaw, he goes to the body with that straight left hand, as opposed to just head hunting. He's really good at that. Tuivasa looking for a straight right, landed that good right low leg kick. And that's where you see the advantage of these big guys like Tuivasa. They just lean on you, make you carry all their weight. But if he's not careful, he will get hit with that headlock. Judo throw, sambo throw. Nemirov, bold character since 1872. Short elbow from Tai Tuivasa. Nearly landed an elbow in the clinch against Junior Dos Santos. Last December, the mighty closed the show. Another good elbow. Tuivasa is a gritty fighter. He, he just he fights rough. Tuivasa's got to be really careful here. If he's not careful, he'll get thrown. Tuivasa is doing a good job of controlling the level of the exchange with his head position. On, Keeping Bagoy tall, making him drive all of his weight into him. Tuivasa gets his head out of there, but let's see how hard oh, he is. Big right hand. 
Let's see how stunned he is if he's gotten his legs back. Still two minutes and change to go here, round one. That's the thing about McCoy. He's very he's powerful and close. So as two of enters, he needs to be careful. There, he's got his neck again. Oh, man. It looks like the head's almost out, though. Oh, look, he's trying to, yeah, he popped it out. Six career wins by submission for Blago Ivanov. Good right hand over the top by Tuivasa and a left. Oh, they're exchanging here. Tuivasa lets you get that forearm under the neck and stretch you out. He does a real good job of controlling your posture. He keeps you long and, like you said, stretched out, allowing him to try to throw knees and punches to the body. Good punch again on the break. Nice step in knee by Tuivasa. Tuivasa is far more active than the boy right now. Even I'll try to catch him with the right hand on the way in, just missed. <coughs> Under a minute now to go round one. Backs Tuivasa up with a straight left. Ooh, beautiful low kick, but he got started with that left. Through an acknowledgement from Tui Vasa, 30 seconds now to go in the round. Even off looking for that right hook. <laughs> One two by Tui Vasa. <laughs> Woo! Was that right hand again? Man, it's heating up. in round one. Tonight's corner camp brought to you by Body Armor. Make the switch to Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. Try the new 28-ounce berry lemonade flavor exclusively at 7-Eleven. Hey, listen. Breathe. Just breathe. You need to relax, brother. No, no, no. Ty. Okay. Don't throw with him. Respect this punch, all right? You need to take your time. You don't throw the elbows, they're landing. Well, we'll take your time, don't rush. Here we see the punch that hurt him. Caught him right behind the ear, a right hook by Bogoy. See it right there? And that was a big weapon for him in that first round. There's a nice straight left as well, but Ty was moving back on that one. There's a beautiful straight left, caught him right on the chin. Some good shots from both men. There's another one. So when Stevie Ashby right, DC two, says go, to Tai Tuivasa, respect his punch, does that just mean raise the guard? What does that mean? Yeah, he just feels like he's not respecting the power of Bagoy, right? Just walking into range and just getting hit with shots that he doesn't believe he should be getting hit with. So just respect him enough to use your defense, right? Don't, don't, don't disregard the man in the octagon with you. Because anybody can put your lights out, especially a heavyweight. It'll be interesting to talk to Tui Vasa after the fight, win or lose, to see how he has felt carrying essentially 20 fewer pounds on fight night. He caught him with the right hand there in that break. He's doing a good job with that inside leg kick yes, as well. He's changing it up now. He's changing it up. He's starting to beat that inside leg of Bugo. Oh, nice one, too. He had him. He had him. in trouble. On wobbly legs. Early round two. He hurt him bad. Bugoy needs to hold here. Try to get his bearings about himself. Ty needs to get back at range. That all started with Ty just banging that inside leg, getting the attention low, and then going high. Nice elbow out of the break by Tui Vasa. Lagoy still looks a little wobbly to me. Oof. Both 
those fighters land there. Tuivas is faster. Yeah, he's, he's a lot faster than Bogoy. Serious hand speed. He's got a weird way of moving too, very deceptive, wobbly a little bit, then he explodes on you. Well, he's throwing that inside kick, right? So he faints as if he's going inside kick and he's punching. He wants Bogoy's hands to kind of think he's kicking at the leg. Tuivasa has spent parts of past training camps at Tiger Muay Thai in Thailand, stayed home this time around, spent a lot of time on the Gold Coast. Man, that left hand. It's, it's landing. Both of these guys are landing. It shows you the toughness of these big competitors. Some big deep breaths now from Tai Tuivasa. Cut on the bridge of the nose of Wago Ivanov. And he sticks the jab oh. in Tuivasa's face. Even off for the one, two. Those are big strikes. Tuivasa seems to be tiring a little bit. Nearly twice as much pro MMA experience for Bwago Ivanov. That speaks nothing of his combat Sambo accolades. Ivanov fought Alir Latifi in 2008. No contest, the ring broke. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, some of the stuff you know, John. I mean, he can't miss with that left hand. But this, that's the moneymaker for Ty. There's a nice elbow by Ty. Ty's trying to catch him with that elbow coming in. Oh, jeez, he got caught. Nice elbow by Bagoy. So we've also changing up the stance here. Oh! Whoever wins this fight is going to have to be super tough because they're both landing, both having to take massive strikes. Who's going to be able to carry that into round three? Yeah, this fight is largely taking place in the center of the octagon with these guys banging each other. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Ooh. Nice jab from Ivanov. I mean, he's being so successful with the jab, I would just continue to throw the jab. So Ivasa had a big moment early round two, but Ivanov has started to pull away late in the round. Even off once again, looking for the head. Trying to pull him down front headlock, make him carry. He switched hands. He switched hands and put, now he's trying to the left. He's trying that guillotine. Oh, he's got his neck. Ah! Well, the crowd saw the tap. It came well after the horn. We yeah. will get to the third round in a moment. UFC 238, Cejudo versus Marais is presented by Modelo. Groove for those with a fighting spirit. Nice, nice and relax, nice and relax. Yes, <clears throat> Punch is nice and relax, but you gotta be the pressure guy. Keep moving that head. In and out, stay in and out. Catch your breath right now. In and out. When you miss, it takes a lot out of him. You gotta make him miss. Three breaths. You gotta make him miss, Chip. One. Breathe, baby, breathe! Stay relaxed and keep moving that head. Stay relaxed, keep moving that head. You gotta keep punching. You gotta want it more than he does. Let's go, let's go, no, let's go. All right, let's listen back to the end of that round and the choke. He did help. He did hold it. He held it for at least After a second more, or yeah. so longer. But well, just to take, you know, he's taking advantage of just being in that right, type go. of position. You know, he didn't tap. He didn't tap. But Bogoy should have let the submission go maybe a second earlier. But I mean, hey, dude's trying to wear him down, I guess. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff that got Husamal Parhar has kicked right. out of the UFC. <laughs> but heel hooks though, right? You yeah, have to blow it's a guy's different. knee out. It is a different. Oh, and you're doing that. Yeah. 
But holding on to anything after the yeah. after the bell. Javier Mendez nice. says to Big Blagoy that he's got to be the pressure guy. I think it's good advice. Continue to try to apply pressure to Tui Vasa. Oh, yeah. Just told him, hey, you've got to want it more than this guy. It's a good close fight. Tui Vasa's had some good success with that inside leg kick in this round. There's a nice right hand. Oh, he staggered him a bit there. This round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. Just the strikes that these guys have absorbed over the course of this fight is amazing. Two really big guys, 250 pound guys, taking each other's shots very clean. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Groin strike from Ivanov, but Dan Mergliata didn't see it, so they fight on. Nice fight for the underhook by Tui Vasa. Oh man, Tui is doing a fantastic job of controlling the underhooks. There's the never again. Yeah, he put uh -oh. himself right back in there. Oh, now there's a lot of time on the clock. He's got that neck. Nope, he lost it, but he's got his back. Tuivasa needs to scrape with the underhook. There he is. He's done that. Now he's got a circle to the underhook to get away. It's up to Bagoy to try to keep the underhook raised and drive his right knee through the middle. That'll keep Tuivasa up against the fence. Being square gets you knee in the belly, though. Grueling clinch work from the heavyweights here in our final round under three minutes to go. I'm surprised that when Tui Vasa got on the outside, he didn't try to disengage. Right. But that might just be fatigue. Yeah, he's tired. No you know, he's taking a lot of damage. Both of them have. Both of them have had their moments. Both guys a little bit tired. Oh, nice combination on the break there. Man, who's winning this fight? I, sh I have well, no idea. I mean, I get DC's <laughs> got a half teammate here, right? You got a partial yeah. teammate. Yeah, this but one. I mean, if you're looking at it objectively, it's one a one? who knows. 1 1, maybe. Yeah. You know, it's a very, very close fight because does the knockdown of a going round one just win the round? Does Tui Basso rocket him just win the round? No, you don't know. Numbers very even. Just one strike, the differential in terms of significant strikes landed. Under two now to go. When you're looking for some sort of an advantage, at least Bagoy is controlling these clinch scenarios. Oh, now Tui Boss is out swinging. I think Tui Boss is dead. I think yeah. that's some missed opportunities. Look, he's hurt him. Bagoy's limping now on that inside leg. Look how, he's, look how he's walking gingerly Ooh. on that leg. I think Tui Vasa should have been kicking the inside leg more. Pretty good counter left from Ivanov after Tui Vasa had landed. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I like that inside leg kick. He's using it with great effectiveness. Lugoy's leg is in real trouble. Even oh. when he's punching, it's giving out on him. This is a really close fight. Woo. That left hand has been a consistent weapon for Ivanov tonight. Imagine if Bantamweights fought like this. <laughs> You'd be like, what's wrong with them? The boy has not checked one of these inside kicks. Yeah. And they're punishing. And they are, they're sending his leg flying every time. But I mean, just toughness, both of these guys standing in the middle of the octagon, just trade leather. Heavyweights that can end the fight with one punch just stood in the middle on a quarter and fought. And there's a big fight down, and this crowd appreciating the bravery. Even I'm trying to end with a flurry here. Well, to the wow. surprise of some, I would think, Bravo Ivanov and Tai Tuivasa go the distance. <laughs> This fight replay is brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. And here's the punch, it dropped him, caught him right behind the ear, sent him to the canvas.
probably the most significant punch of the fight, other than the one that Tuivasa landed that stunned him. And there it is right there. Really rocked him, had him wobbled. Those inside leg kicks by Tuivasa were a big factor. But here's Bogoy with a one, two. You see it again, Bogoy with a nice left hand to the chin. These fighter stats brought to you by Poker Stars. Pound for pound, the greatest online poker experience in the world. Take on the best to win millions of prizes every day on Poker Stars. Total strikes, advantage even off. The leg kicks a big part of the narrative on the two Ibasa side. The one knockdown for even off early and two for two on his takedown attempts tonight. Just seven seconds, though, of top position time for Blago Ivanov. So they came in number 11, number 13, respectively, in the heavyweight division. We will see what the judges saw. This official decision brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. With those scorecards now, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Lagoy Baga Ivanov. All right, I'm here with the winner, Bogoy Ivanov. First of all, congratulations on a, a fight with a, a very, very tough guy. This was a fight where you both exchanged some heavy shots. Was this what you expected coming into this fight? Uh, he's a very tough guy. And uh, yeah, I watch all his fights, and now know he's good to stand up. There was also some moments where you were attempting some submissions. Were you surprised at all that he was able to get yes, out of those? <laughs> He doesn't help me, but I felt I can't submit him. Well, this was a very tough fight. Congratulations on your victory, and we look forward to seeing you again. I want to say something. I want to thank all the Bulgarians who are here for the support. This is for you and for Bulgaria. Can you translate that? I want to thank the Bulgarians here in the building. I do this for them and for my country, Bulgaria. Congratulations, sir. Blagoy Ivanov, ladies and gentlemen.